Okay, so today it is uh, Hollow Man Parts 1 and 2 by Kula Shaker. Um, it, as you guys know, it's, it's a concept song, isn't it? So there's a piano part, there's some slide, there's some lead, there's some acoustic, there's some overdrive at the end, and it goes back to acoustic. I'm just going to do it all on the acoustic. It's the rhythm section. I'm going to play the piano chords for you. Um, there's also the piano section goes on. Oh, and then later goes. So I'll put that in as well. You can add that in if you wish. But this is the piano part to start with. Then we'll do the Travis Bacon part. Suggest that you have your plectrum on your knee. I would play bloody things. I would play the piano part and the Travis picking part, obviously, with your fingers. Um, and then when you come to the rock ear part, have a plectrum on your knee, for instance, or in your gob if you're not singing. Uh, and then just. Okay, so the first part that we have is our chord progression is C major with the bar chord to a B flat major. Then we drop underneath to an E flat major, and then we go to a G sus four to a G to resolve on the G, and then we do it again. And if you want to do the piano part. So yeah, so the, it goes C, which is the 8th fret, B flat, so I've got the play, and then the D, I would rather the E flat major, G sus4 to G. Now you see from that E flat major, if you keep the shape, release the pressure, and just put it diagonally up to the 3rd fret. Okay? And then... So it does that section twice, but then we go to a C minor. So that's if you if you're doing the count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and again one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one. Here we go into C minor, so same position but take off your second finger. So it's one, two, B flat, one, three, four, A diminished seventh. You may not be familiar with this chord. Pull your bar back, single fret of the fifth, add your second finger to the sixth fret on the fifth, third finger to the seventh fret on the fourth, and your little finger to the I think you only, you only really play the six five four. Then. You get the A, so that's the A diminished chord, uh, then to an A flat major, and then of course the obligatory G sus4 to the G. Okay, so let me show you that little section again. So it's in, in two beats, so we'll go one. Again, okay, and then 
when the electric guitar comes in, the, the chord is just C to B. is first finger, I'm playing what you call the broken set chord here. You've got your first finger on the third fret of the first string, your little finger, your fourth finger on the fifth fret of the second, and your third on the fifth fret of the third. And we go... Three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two. Pull the shape back, two frets, three, two, one. Seventh, that's the second the bar on the second fret, third finger on the four of the four, fourth finger on the uh, four of the two, pull it back to a B flat major, and then we play a, a D flat major. And then you start to hear the acoustic guitar coming in at this point with the Travis picking. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Travis picking, his style on this one is he uses the, what you call the pinch. So the first note is a pinch. We are the thumb is alternating between the 5th and the 4th string. So that's your 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And normally, so this is an inside Travis picking. Which, what, what, means, what that means is the alternation, if we were to do a continuous, would be P, I, P, M, P, I, P, M, P, I, P, M, P. However, he does what you call the pinch. So the first note, we pinch the thumb and the middle. That's the 5th and the 6th string. And then we go four, three, five, uh, three, four, two. Yep. So five and two, four, three, five, three, four, two. That's wrong. Sorry. Yes, uh, I'm saying too much on it. So it's five and two, four, three, five, two, four. That's it. That's the one. Five, four, three, five, two, four, five, and two, four, three, five, two, four. Now, when it comes to the G, same fingers, but the thumb is moving between the six and the four now. Now, sometimes as well, he adds this little finger to the second string there on the fourth fret. That's it, that's a D flat diminished, okay, so I've, it's not for it's not, it's not diminished, what the hell is it? D with a G. I'm not gonna work it out in the video comment. So just let's just call it D flat. So maybe add your little finger. G. Same finger pattern, but just six and four instead of five. So we've got the B flat, same picking as we did on the D flat. Okay, and then the C. Same picking, and then the G, just go back to six and four. Now, what he does is for the long way home, he holds the B flat.
let's just bring in the rock part, okay? So we'll have, when you come in, you just put your G on. You know Gallagher G as it's uh, affectionately termed, so it's the G. With your third finger on the D there, that third fret on the second string. And what you do is you go high, low, sorry, low, high, low, high, low, high. And we'll come to a D flat power chord. Or da 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 if you want to do down strokes. So just on the G. And from there, you can just pull it back with the B flat and all down strokes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. See, and four, and I just lift off the first finger. So that lovely dissonance there. And then your riff, it changes, right? The first one you go. Here we have two guitars on the record, but I would suggest doing them both. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. All right, so let me break this down further for you. So when the first section of that little, little part, we, um, we've got the B flat, okay? And I'm going to lift off the first finger, and then I'm going to hammer with the one to two on the three, because then, G chord, you see, so it's now this one we're going to change our fingers. We we'll start the same one, two lines on the G, but I'm going to flatten my third finger over the fourth, third, and second string. We're down. The electric guitar doing that in the record, but you can do them both. See, so all I do is first one, hammer, flatten the third. Second one, I slide. Flatten the third over the fifth this time. Same strumming to it. First time I've heard it, and then it comes back into the into the B flat or the G. Shit, I can't remember. I'm gonna say it comes back into the G because it's and then the, when the Travis pin comes back in at the end. Yeah, we we'll start on the G, and then we we'll go back to the B flat. Week when we started doing it, so I'm just doing this video because my student is doing it for his school program. He gets to pick these pieces, and this is one of the bits that he picked. I can't remember if I've seen Kuna Shaker. I think I did. I think the girlfriend at the time fancied the singer, so I think I was forced to go. I can't remember. I think the two main gigs. I only remember the good ones and the shite ones. So, uh, yeah, any comments, questions, whatever, put them in the comments below. I am an online guitar teacher, so if you would like face-to-face -face lessons, get in touch with the description below. And I have some availability at the moment, so uh, yeah, get in touch. And happy practicing and have a lovely day.